Welcome back to Enshrouded. In last episode, we got the hunter over here and made this awesome scout set of armor. And today, we are going to find the alchemist, which should be right up in this direction on our map here. Yep, the alchemist up here. And rather than just going to the ancient spire to find it and glide down, I think I'm going to go up through here so we can explore a little of this bottom section of the map here and then see what these two quests are because they're very close to the alchemist. So with that said, sit back, get cozy, and let's begin the adventure. Alright, so we took this camp out again from those of you who remember from a while ago just on this side of the bridge and we're just going to continue straight over this way. And if you remember from before, we continued up this way before to get to the Flame uh, Sanctum. But this time, let's go this way, because I think this kind of points us in the closer direction toward the Alchemist here. And I think I'll just kind of follow this pathway up and around. Ooh, it looks like we have a cave up ahead and a bunch of wolves. Alright, well, let's go in this cave and uh, see what this is here. Ooh, cave passage. Interesting. So this must be like a shortcut through the mountain to get somewhere. Man, lots of these wolves. Okay. I have to eat a berry here just to replenish some health. So which way do we go? Looks like that way is a dead end. Oh, well, let's climb up here. Another wolf up there. Alright. And we're enshrouded. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Looks like it spits us out, but there's also a little section up here. I just want to see if anything is over here. Doesn't look like it currently. I'm sure there's a bit more exploring in there to do. But it looks like here we come out on the other side. So we just went through the mountain there. And we have another little flame shrine over here. So we can get another spark there. Alright, so I'm guessing maybe we continue up this way. This looks like it's the closer, closer path leading toward the alchemist there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and follow this a little ways. Ooh, so we have a nice little camp area over here. Looks like a little farm area. So I'm wondering what this is. Peaceful Acres. Alright. So what do we have over here? We have some crops. Oh, this is pretty cool. Tear out. What do those give us? Plant fiber? Ooh, and we have corn here. So we just got some corn from that. Well, that's pretty cool. And then I'm guessing we've got quite a bit more to explore in here. This is a neat location. Ooh, lots of mushrooms and stuff. So I'm guessing we'll be able to do all of this and do a lot of farming once we unlock the farmer there. Oh gosh. Dead guy in the bathtub. And then we have this house right over here. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Oh gosh, okay. More of the rats. <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? Okay. Well, let's grab those and let's see. Also destroy some of the barrels here. Oh, we've got more of them. We've got lots of them in here, it looks like. Alright. So yeah, what's interesting in here? We have the upstairs here. Looks like an old fireplace. Quite destroyed. Anything over there? No. Well, we do have a chest. So what's in here? A rusty sword. Okay. Well, I'll grab that. It actually does a fair amount of damage. There's the staircase back down. We also have another little room over in here. Another chest. Oh, we need a lockpick. So let's go in crafting. And I think we can make a lockpick without having to be near the blacksmith. Yep. So there we go. Lockpick. And let's see what's inside here. Ooh, health potion and more arrows. That seems pretty good. Alright, so that seems to be what that little section has for us. And let's just see where I am on the map currently. 
So there was the peaceful acres, and yeah, let's go up to the story of fire section right up there. Oh, and we have another little return beacon over here. And then again, people in the comments keep telling me, like, destroy these barrels. Uh, and everything you see. Uh, which I guess makes sense, because look at what we're getting from it. Yeah, water, metal sheets, lots of stuff, honey. Alright, so yeah, that's definitely worth just destroying everything we find. So there we go, return beacon. Let's keep following the path. Ooh, we have something right up here. Let's see, what is this thing down here? Let's go take a look. Ancient obelisk. Okay, so that was just added to our map. Anything interesting over here? Ooh, what is that? Bone meal. Interesting, okay. Another s one of the shroud flasks there. Okay, well, let's read what these have to say. Ooh, spectral shield at the blacksmith. That's pretty cool. Wanderer's boots. Okay, interesting. A new lore for Ancients in the Flame. Alright, let's go ahead and read this. Tired. We would pretend to read them as children, but now the obelisks hide their truths. I was a fool for thinking I could find a solution to my problems here. No one hears my prayers, and I feel so tired. I wish you were by my side, brother. Forgive me. Vettel. Okay. Interesting. So, what happens if we read this? In a world destined for ruin, humanity will fade. As all beings do, their light will flicker and die, untouched by the eternal flame. Meaningless and minuscule in the face of near endless insight, burning brightly, turning into dust as we turn to fire. An endless cycle of ruin and turmoil. Okay, and we just completed that quest, it looks like, of the story of fire uh, down here. So yeah, that's what that was. So that's interesting. If we go to our journal here... Awesome, yeah! So we, we completed the story of fire, now we just have the story of rot, which is up on the other side of the map. So, okay, and then it looks like a bunch of locations were just added to our map, yeah! It added a whole bunch of flame shrines, so we can see where all of those are now, uh, by completing that quest, which is pretty cool. So, it is nighttime. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and throw a flame altar down here. Let's see, I just need a couple more stone, and then I will go back and sleep, and we'll be right back here in the day. Okay, so I'm back, and it is now daytime. And before I head to the, uh, alchemist, I'd like to head up this hill here, because I thought I saw a structure of some sort up in the distance. And yeah, there's a little path that leads up here. So there's, there's a little cave right over there that I saw, but there's another thing up here that almost looks like that uh, hidden tomb that we did last time. So let's check this out. See what's in here. Yeah, so it does indeed look like another tomb here. I guess we'll just continue around. Ooh, we've got like a swampy, muddy area over here. Almost looks like a little bit of water. Yeah, I bet you they could add water to the game if they wanted to. Hopefully they'll work on that at some point. That would be really cool. Alright, well this is interesting. We've got lots of coffins. It's a bit of a different layout than the first one. Ooh, we've got a spiky floor. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Ooh, another one of these... ...coffins here. Ooh. Wildwood Shortbow. So it doesn't do much power, but we could upgrade it, and it has a very, very quick draw speed, clearly. Wow, ooh, and shroud magic damage. Lots of bonuses as we upgrade it. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I'll go ahead and take that. All right. Yeah, let's make our way back to the ancient obelisk there and continue heading toward the alchemist. Okay, we're back at the ancient obelisk, and this was the little flame altar I placed to travel back here uh, after I slept the night. So I'm just going to glide off of this hill because it looks like the alchemist is right over there. So let's go ahead and head over this way. Get a little closer to that. So much flint in these hills here, that's pretty crazy. And we have another path over here. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, as I head up it, there you can see the alchemist right up there, that vault. But we also have another little cave over here. So I kind of want to see what's in here. Let's just go ahead and eat up here. And, uh, alright. 
Well, here goes nothing. Oh golly, those don't look so good. All right. Ooh, fireball does a ton of damage to them. Holy cow. Yeah, check that out. Wow, okay. Although these guys are a bit, bit tough here. There we go. Alright, we got a couple of them. And we just have the crossbow guy over here. Looks like that's gonna blow up. Ooh, a bunch of traps. So this is kind of a... Bit of a tough spot to be in here. Alright, well we did it okay. And that was even without the iron armor, or the rising fighter set, so we don't have to be too tanky for this kind of stuff. But we'll see, if I have to go back and get the rising fighter set, I will, depending on how hard it is to get to the alchemist. Ooh, this almost looks like... Ooh, this is a crazy cool spot. Scavenger stash. Interesting. Ooh, and we have a gold chest up here. What's in here? Ooh, a wailing blade. Legendary. <laughs> That's definitely probably the best weapon I have found so far. Yeah, check that out. So our blade uh, does 16 damage. The Wailing Blade already does 14, but we can upgrade it a whole bunch. Cutting, piercing, and blunt. Rather than just uh, mostly cutting. A little bit of piercing, a little bit of blunt for that one, but that is really cool. I may just go ahead and put that in my inventory here. Ooh, it provides light as well. So we can finally go through caves and stuff without needing a torch and feeling like we're unarmed all the time. Well, that is really cool. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and craft a lockpick here. See what's in this chest. Well, that was really worth coming across. So yeah, just to give you guys a sense of where it is on the map, let's just go ahead and take that. And here we go. So yeah, there was our ancient obelisk, and here is the scavenger stash. So really close to the alchemist there. That was very, very worth it. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and grab all the rest of these goodies here. Ooh, a lockpick right up there. Nice. Lots of metal scraps here. Explosive powder balls. All sorts of cool stuff. All right. Well, with that, let's head over to the alchemist. And, uh, let's see here. Maybe I will go ahead and, and go down this path. Head up to it from the front there, because I don't really see an easy path above there. But yeah, that path was definitely worth following for this new blade here. I'm definitely going to be upgrading that when I get home. Alright, so here we go. We are now at the entrance area to the alchemist section. So again, I'm just going to keep eating. Looks like we have some wolves over here. Ooh, golly. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the mace still does better. It's obviously a little more upgraded than our uh, sword there. But uh, yeah, so I think the mace will be my main weapon for now until I get home to upgrade that sword. A lot of stuff over here seems to be weak to the blunt damage as well. So we'll just go ahead and use that. Alright, let's see. Can I get this guy out? Oh, nice. Alright. Ooh, this guy's shooting like explosives. Oh my, oh my, okay, okay, buddy. <laughs> so let's get this guy out. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, and a lot more of that swampy stuff. It looks like it slows us down a lot when we walk into it. All right, well, that's good to know. Another one of the guys that shoots the explosives here. There we go. Yeah, this mace is taking care of them really, really quick. Okay. So that looks pretty... Cleared for this little section. Let's see, what's over here? Looks like lots more stuff to search. A couple more chests. Okay, another powder ball there. Oh, golly! Alright, how about this? Take some of your own medicine. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Alright. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so these explosives do a lot of damage, and, uh, I'm actually pretty happy to be using them. They're kind of fun. Alright. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and take everything from this. And then that is indeed the alchemist up there. Ooh, another repair equipment. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Anything in here? A silver chest. 
Executioner's Axe. 21 damage. Wow, and that's not even a legendary weapon. Well, that looks pretty good. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and take some of these books, I guess, in case we need them for things later on. Let's go ahead and smash all this. Yep, in there, there was an elixir. So, yeah. Definitely worth smashing all this stuff. Okay, well, let's head up to the alchemist area up here. There's probably going to be a lot more stuff that we have to take out. And I actually may end up, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drink a health potion. Ooh, a return beacon. That's nice. So if we die, we'll be able to come back pretty easily. Oh gosh, okay. Yep. A few more guys over here. Oh, that really hurt. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Man, you got to be careful around those things. Okay. All the explosives here. Alright, where is this guy at? Someone was shooting us. Ah, oh, it looks like he's all the way up there on top of that. Okay. Yeah, let's just take these guys out first. Yeah, parrying them is actually pretty powerful here. And that actually reminds me... Oh gosh. That reminds me, I want to spend some of my skill points that we got last time. Because if I can get better at parrying them like this then, uh, it'll actually be really powerful. Uh, because, yeah, let's go- let's go to my skill tree here. And let's go down here where it says the Merciless Attack. Let's go ahead and un unlock that one. Because now when we parry them, we'll be able to hit E, and it'll, like, instantly, uh, take care of them. So, I'm kind of curious to see... see how that works. This guy obviously shoots some stuff. So it won't really work on him, because we're not going to parry it right now. But yeah, I'll show you guys how that works soon. Alright, lots of interesting stuff over here. More barrels, another chest. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, another health potion. That's good. More metal scraps. Okay. What about in these towers over here? So much stuff to search over here, it's pretty crazy. More fire? Okay, yep, I definitely want some of those. Those have been awesome, man. They do so much damage. Very expensive, obviously, because they're limited, and they use, uh, use up fireballs every time you shoot it out of the staff, but... They're pretty powerful. Okay, into the ancient vault here, for the alchemist. And, oh, yep, I do see some stuff over there. Okay, so what if I... Ouch! Oh, that actually did work for him. Okay. Yeah, those fireballs, man, they do a lot of damage. Oh, man. I wasn't able to block that. Okay, let's try to parry one of these guys. Well, not quite. The timing there was a little tough. Okay. Let's see if this guy can get parried. Alright, there we go. Hit E, and Merciless Attack. There we go. That is awesome. So that one I feel like is worth having. Uh, because if I can parry them a lot, that is really useful. Ooh, we got another guy over here. Let's take care of him. Let's see, we've got a little... Little section here. It looks like we even have an upstairs there, but we also have a basement here. So let's see. Let's go upstairs first and see what we have up here. So it looks like we go this way. A little flame there. So lots of little lookout points. Ah, and that's definitely where the alchemist is. Okay. So we'll go free the alchemist here really shortly, uh, but I'm gonna go back downstairs here first. Just to see what's in there. Uh, in case we find anything cool down here. Ooh, there's a something- oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff down here, okay. Let's get into here, and see what this chest has. Another explosive. And, okay, uh, can I step on this? Looks like a spiked floor, but it looks like it allows us to walk across it. So is that going to be triggered by opening this chest? It's another gold chest, it looks like, so what do we have in here? Frozen Core Wand. Legendary for ice damage. Definitely need to take that. Okay, I am going to delete some stuff out of my inventory. Let's just go ahead and eat a corn there. It'll uh, give us plus one, I think, for strength and stuff. 
So it'll do a little more melee damage. Yeah, plus one strength. So, let's see. I'll just go ahead and delete some of my logs there. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that for now. Use a bandage, maybe. And I definitely want to take that. We can get rid of my old ice wand. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. So it looks like we just kind of run down. There we go. Perfect timing. So that is a really useful thing. Wow. I really am going to be upgrading these when I get home. That's pretty exciting. So right in here. Oh, and yep, we do have some more scavengers. Let's do a fireball. And let's try to... Get this guy out, parry him, and hit E for- oh! We didn't even have to hit E there. We already got him before we had to hit E. Alright. Ouch! Alright, yeah, I still gotta get used to the parrying timing here. Ah, uh, but yeah, it looks like when we see those little circles kind of above their head, that's when we can use our merciless attack. Alright. So here is the alchemist. Awaken Survivor. Ooh, a whole nother armor set and 20 more at the Alchemist. Amazing. Alright. Bone meal at grinding stones. Okay, so we unlocked how to make those. Well, that's really cool. Alright. That is awesome. Yeah, so let's go ahead and head- Ooh, we can collect arrows out of skeletons here. That's pretty neat. And a new quest, Powerful Alchemy. Let's go to our journal and see what we've got here. So, uh, ooh, scavenger stash. I actually have to find another thing. Find the Wailing Blade. Oh, so that actually was a whole quest in and of itself. And we have to speak to Oswald Anders, the blacksmith, to find out more. So I guess we'll have to complete that quest when we get back. And then, yeah, powerful alchemy. So we have to summon the alchemist at our base there. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, teleport back home here. And see what goodies we have. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and do the first things first. Commune with the flame. Another survivor awakened. The alchemist will prove helpful by crafting potions and healing tinctures. Okay. Awesome. And here's the blacksmith about the sword that we just found. So what's he gonna say? The wailing blade. You claim the wailing blade? I forged it for her grasp before she left me. Fine. You may wield it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart, Flameborn. It's what my daughter would want. Okay, so he had a daughter who clearly didn't make it. Uh, and this was the sword that he forged for her. And the scavengers clearly uh, stole it. So there we go. Scavenger stash. That quest has been completed. And actually, while we're over here, I'm going to grab my... Uh, I'm gonna grab all of these runes. And let's try to upgrade it a bit, since it's super upgradable. So yeah, check this out. Enhance equipment. Look at how many times we can upgrade a legendary weapon here. That's insane. We can upgrade our epic, uh... Wildwood shortbow as well. But yeah, I really want to upgrade this Frozen Core Wand and the Wailing Blade. So let's go ahead and do this one a few times. Yeah, there we go. And Frozen Core Wand. Looks like we can only do it twice, but there you go. 17 damage from just a wand. So, let's go ahead and get rid of all of my old stuff now. I'll keep the mace, but we certainly don't need the scrappy sword anymore. Uh, and yeah, let's just go ahead and salvage the rusty short sword, because now we have something with 22 damage. Blunt, piercing, cutting... Yeah, this is crazy. Alright. And it provides light, so that's a nice weapon. Okay, I think now it's time to grab my summoning staff and summon in the alchemist here. So, let's see. I'll probably put him, like, right over here in this section. Balthazar the alchemist. All right, so Balthazar, that is the alchemist. All the texts we've been reading about. So, this is the guy that invented all of those uh, pod chambers and stuff like that to be able to have all these survivors survive, essentially. Alright, so yeah, let's put him right over here. There we go. Quest complete. The Alchemist. Oh, this guy. This guy looks interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to him. How can I help? Carpentry. Another set of hands would be useful to us if we ever plan to expand the base. I, for one, could use more storage for my potions. 
I happen to know the location of another ancient vault. Why not look around? Okay, cool. So another location added, and that looks like it was the carpenter there. And let's see, another one. We are specks of dust in a whirlwind of stars, my friend. Do you dare reach out, wishing you grasp a piece of eternity? Perhaps obtaining an eternal spell would suit you. I know one was buried in an underground tomb alongside its dreadful master. You could use it to do a lot of good. Ooh, another tomb. Okay, and we have that that just got marked on our map. So let me go to... Well, let's see what we can craft first of all. Ah, here we go. So we can officially craft the potions, shroud flasks, the fireball here, ice bolt, the grinding stone, which looks like something to do with the farming. Bug dust. Interesting. A uh, protein-rich ingredient created from crushed critter shells. So there you go. The critter shells and critter, part, critter parts, that's what you can use those for. And glow dust. Interesting. Shroud core. We can finally craft those now. That's awesome. The spiritual cane. And alchemist apprentice set. Alright, and we need bone meal, so there we go. That that must be why we need this grinding stone. So we just need flint stone and stone for that one. So we'll get to crafting those recipes today for sure. But let's just go into our journal and see what we have here. So carpentry assistance, there we go. And we can show that on map. There is the carpenter over there. So we just need the farmer and the carpenter. So we're actually getting there. And then we can go back here and let's see. We have an eternal spell. Okay. Ooh, and we get the ice bolts from it, it looks like, and a lot of XP. Reach the buried tomb. Okay. So let's see. Let's let's show that on the map. That is all the way up here. Oh, not too far away, actually. That's pretty close to the hunter there. Okay. Well, interesting. I'm curious to see what that is. So I'm wondering if we want to go ahead and do that. Or go ahead and craft the new stuff before we do that. I think let's go ahead and craft some things. I'd love to craft especially that new set of armor, but let's go ahead and make this grinding stone here. Okay, here we go. I've got the flint stone, and again, you can get that at the small flint mine or anywhere where you see flint on the ground and the stone. So let's go ahead and craft that. And bring it into my... Oh, it is. Perfect. Right in my hotbar here. And maybe I'll put that, let's see, right next to him like here. Or maybe I'll put it here like I did with the with the hunter there. Yeah, we'll put it right here for now. Okay, and that is how we make our bone meal here. So yep, bone meal there, and it looks like we just need lots of bones, which I have a ton of bones. <laughs> so here we go, let's just go ahead and throw like 17 of them in there for the time being. I don't know how many we have uh, to get for the armor set. But we'll figure that out here soon. So yeah, Alchemist Apprentice set there. Oh, not too much. All right. So yeah, I'll start gathering the stuff we need for this, which it looks like, yeah, the only new thing that we have not found yet, obviously, is the bone meal. We got one bone meal from the ancient obelisk, but aside from that, we still have to make all of that. And it looks like, yeah, this gives us lots of mana, you can see. So that's what is beneficial about this armor set. So using magic and stuff, obviously. So that is awesome. Ooh, and we can make books. There you go. So old books, that's what we need, and we can make all of these for decorations. That is really awesome. All right. And that bug dust stuff, I also noticed that on our map, right over by the salt mine, I think it was? Yeah, this salt mine here that we did last time. There's another little section here that says buzz in the walls. Uh, and I kind of want to go check that out. So uh, let's see. Let's see if we'll have time for that. But yeah, I do think that this would be a fun one. But with that said, I'm just going to save up the stuff for that new armor set, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so most of the bone meal has been finished now. We have 21 in our inventory, and I should have everything else that we need for the Alchemist Apprentice set here. So there's the hat, shirt, pants, gloves, and boots. So there is the Alchemist set. That actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, so uh, plus 2% magic damage multiplier. More mana. Mana regeneration there. Magical critical strike chance. So a pretty cool set of armor, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely looks awesome with the sword, with our wand and things. So that is super cool. 
So with that said, I do think I'm going to go ahead and do the quest over here that the alchemist gave us, an eternal spell. So it will be a bit of a longer episode, but you all have really been enjoying all of the adventuring and quests and things. So I figured it'd be nice to catch up on some of the quests over here. So again, I'm just going to go up to the ancient spire and then glide down over to where the hunter vault is. And then we should be getting pretty close to that area. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so I am now on top of the vault for the hunter here, and it looks to be off in that direction. Almost looks like it might be in the shroud. So I may try to glide down over by this other ancient spire, which is another cool spot down there. Uh, there's also a bridge and a whole bunch of area over there. Might actually debate here because that bridge might take us around to where we have to go over there. Yeah, let's try that. So I'm going to glide right over to here and then try to take that bridge in the distance across to be on land and then see if we can circle around there. So here we go, just gliding down toward the bridge and yeah, I think this will be a good idea. This spot of the map is really beautiful too. Huge meadows areas and things, this is so great. I'm getting so anxious to start building some more. <laughs> this will be awesome to be able to start finding some cool locations. See so yeah, that bridge looks like it's right up Right up over here somewhere. So let's try and head over there. We can even glide down from the top here. Another flame shrine down there. This is a lot of cool area. And like right back in here might be a really neat spot to build. I'm even seeing another biome over there. Some mountains. This is a pretty nice location to be honest. Well, let's go ahead and make our way down there. And while we are down here, actually, before we go across that bridge, now would be a good time to mention that we are really close by this quest. A story of rot. And it looks like that is this obelisk or beacon here up on the hill. Yeah, here we go. An ancient obelisk. Oh, and some shroud guys here. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Okay, now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and read what this has to say. The flame-touched face. Unforeseen, humanity is ephemeral. Nothing but a brief moment in time, a breath long taken, the blink of an eye. Yet despite their mortal nature, they have created fire. A flame of their own to brighten their impending dawn. So with that here, it looks like in our journal we have completed a story of rot quest there. And we got some sort of root looking thing here. I'll still have to figure out what that is. It may actually have something to do with all of these shroud root locations that have popped up on the map now that we completed that quest. Yeah, we'll have to figure out what these are. So now that that quest is done, let's continue the alchemist quest. So here's that bridge that I think we can get across. Let's see. Let's go ahead and double jump that section. We've got another little grappling hook right up here. Oh no! Uh-oh. We ran out of stamina. Alright, I'm glad I didn't fall down there. And yeah, we've got a camp of some sort over here, so I might just try and avoid it and kind of go along the edge this way. Yeah, I'm just going to try to go right along the edge of the shroud here. Not trigger anything over there because that might be an important camp that we come across in the future. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's got to be in the shroud then if that's where it is. Okay. Yeah, right down in there. Okay. We've got another area over here. Which looks like another little farm area. Ancient spire, low meadows. Interesting. Okay, so is this the... is this the quest for the alchemist then? I guess we'll see. We still got a little ways to go. Ah, okay, so it looks like it's right down there, that little square tomb looking thing there, right on the edge of the shroud. So we actually probably could have glided down there right from the hunter vault, uh, had I seen where it was. But because we're here, uh, let's go ahead and scale this ancient spire because this will give us a fast travel point to this section. This may end up being a quest that we get later on, and we're doing it a little early, but that's okay. It's an open world, and so far I think I've done things in a order that makes sense to me, and this makes sense because we already came across it here. So we may as well. We've got a return beacon there, and let's see if this ancient spire is any different from the last one. 
So here we are now on the second floor. Looks like just some lookout points as usual. Ooh, we have something in there. And this door needs two buttons in order to activate it. Okay. Interesting. So this already looks a little more complex than the old ancient spire. I see a button here and one right over here. And then I think, yep, just another little lookout point. Okay. And it looks like those open that door. Perfect. So let's go in through here. And it looks like we have another elevator here. I think there was also something- yeah, there's also something down here. Is that another chest or whatever? Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, a hatchet. Okay. I'll take that. And then it looks like we get back up through this little section right where the buttons were. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we can take this elevator up to the next level. Getting a little higher now. That door needs a button to open. And, uh, let's see. This is another spiked floor. It's not activated yet, though. Interesting. Oh, here's a button. Well, I'm guessing that'll both activate the door and, yep, it'll activate the spike floors. Oh, gosh! <laughs> activate both of them. Okay, well, there we go. It activated the door here. Ooh, and that needs to be activated as well. And that one. Okay, well, let's see what we have to do. Looks like we can open this one here. Alright, and just jumping around trying to avoid everything. Another little lookout here with a chest. Ooh, healing potion. And a great mana potion. Well, nice, I like that. Alright, let's run through here. And let's see. Ah, there's a button right over here. Well, there we go. That probably opened a door in this little section over here. Let's try to get over in this area. Yep, that opened... let's see. That opened this door, which then has a button in it. Okay. And that looks like it opened this door. Here we go. <laughs> and now we have the elevator. So technically we didn't need to hit that button, but there we go. All the buttons have been hit on this level. Ooh, wow. This looks a little more complicated. <laughs> well, we have a chest over here. And let's use our lockpick on it, see what we get. Ooh, more fire. Nice. Okay, so I'm not sure where we're headed. So maybe we just, uh, run over to here? Anything out here? Nothing out here. But this way we could at least see some things from a different perspective. I think just jumping a lot will be good. So here's one door over here. And I think there was another one right over in here, in this area. Ah, oh, we can't get to that one. Okay. So yeah, just jumping and gliding, I guess, is the best way to avoid those. Ooh, so what is this over here? There we go. Oh, are we already dying? This stuff is so hot that we're already taking damage. Yeah, we take damage by just running over it. Wow. Okay, well... Anything over here? Nothing there. Well, let's go ahead and climb this all the way up. Gosh, these things are fast. Let's just go ahead and jump all the way over on there. And another lookout. Yeah, we're getting pretty high up here. Okay. What is that? Whoa! A pressure plate button! How am I supposed to use that? Uh... Hmm. Ah! Maybe I stand on it and then I shoot this one? There we go, and then it keeps it open. Wow, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Okay. Let's see what's in this chest then. Ooh, more healing channels. Great mana potion. Wow. 150 mana. That's awesome then. Little bandage there. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we grapple on here. And then we climb over this thing. Oh no! Ouch! 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 Okay. Okay, we're back at this grappling point here. And we'll try this again. My stamina is full. Let's go ahead and see if this will work. Okay. So right here, do I want to go sideways or do I want to go up? Let's just go up first. Oh no, we're not going to have enough here. Hmm. 
Well, it looks like I almost need a stamina potion, or I need to be more rested in order to, uh, in order to get up here. Let's see. Because, yeah, I can't glide, I can't do anything there. Yep, okay. There we go. And I have fallen. Alright, so clearly I have to have more stamina. And here we go. We'll just respawn back at the last, uh, elevator here, which is really nice. So, let me go get rested, maybe? And then come back here and see if that helps with my stamina. I think I also have a stamina potion back at the house. Okay, here we are. So we're rested again, and let's see if this works any better. Yep, here we go. Now we can make it up. So we just have to be rested. And that is pretty tricky. Ooh, all we have is a button over here. Interesting. So maybe we go back down? Let's go down over in here. Let's see what's over here, because we haven't been over here just yet. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a gold chest there, and another chest out here. More arrows, and what's in here? Another legendary weapon? Ooh, Ring of Endless Life. Wow, plus 3% life leech chance. Well, that looks insanely good. I'm definitely going to equip that. Let's see, what should I put it on? Let's do the... Let's do it in place of the stamina one here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. And that button did something somewhere. There's this, so it looks like it unlocked this, and we can head up this elevator. And here we go! We finally reached it. Amazing! Okay, let's see what this has to say. The low meadows are drenched in sickness, flooded with bile and bitterness. Fight back the shroud and unveil the peaceful glades lost beneath. Boundless wilds of untold beauty lie hidden under the decay. Alright. And four locations added. Wow. Alright. So yeah, this is this place and we now have it to be able to fast travel to. And with that said, let's head down to our map marker right down in there in the shroud. And I also have some emergency survival flasks here, in case we end up needing them, so that'll be good. Alright, we're nearing up on it. Let's see what the alchemist wanted us to do in here. Here we go. Location below. So this is where we have to go. Alright, another tomb, but in the shroud. Well, okay then. Let's give it a go. And we have our sword now to provide a little bit of light. New quest, an eternal spell. There you go. Alright. So, what's in here? Oh gosh! Okay, well, our sword is still doing just fine. And we've got more spiders. Yeah, this one's a lot more spooky being inside the shroud here. I can barely see. Oh gosh! And we have a spiked floor over here. Let's go head up there. And what do we- Oh! Whoa! What is this guy? That does not look too good. Let's just use our wand on him. Ooh! Ouch! Okay. A big dead skeleton guy. Youch! 20 damage! Okay. There we go. What did that give us? Ooh, salt. Interesting. So what do we have down here? Just dark stairs. What is this? Is this something- Oh my, another one of these guys. Man, they do a lot of damage. We got a little level up there though. That's good. Anything in there? Nothing I can see. Okay. Let's just keep attacking these guys. And see if I can find anything up here. We may have had to go down- Oh! Here's something. Alright, what's in here? There we go, Eternal Ice Bolt. So, what does that do? An eternal version of the Ice Bolt. The spell damages enemies upon impact, slows them afterward. An eternal spell does not deplete. Equip the eternal spell and use mana to cast with a staff. Awesome! So we get infinite ice bolts now. That is really, really cool. Okay, 
That is if I can find my way out of this. So yeah, we'll have to figure out how to use that and equip it, and then we can use it with our staff there. Which is awesome. Okay, uh, that looks like that goes back up there. And let's see, yep, I remember coming across here. So let's go back through here, and... Back in over here. Oh golly! More spiders. And yep, looks like this is our way out. Okay. Alright, so there's the spire, or something off in the distance there anyway. So let's just try to make our way over to there. Youch! Oh gosh! We took away all our time in the shroud by going in there. Okay. I am kind of hoping I'm going the right direction. We have a minute. This wouldn't be so good. There's a path here, at least, which I'm liking. Okay. Yeah, we do have to be careful. Ooh, another thing we can go down there? Like a mine or something? Wow, oh, lots of stuff. Here we go. We'll make it out. And I think the survival shroud flask uh, gives us a whole extra minute in case we do need that. Alright, this has gotta be... This has gotta be the way out over here, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Here's the path again. Alright, under a minute. Let's see if we can make it out without the flask. Yep, we're gonna do it. Here we go. Yay! Amazing, okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and teleport back to my house. See if the alchemist has anything to say. Alright, we're back here. Yeah, let's go talk with him. Anything? Nothing. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like that was just a quest that we can do, and if I go into my backpack, is this the eternal one? Alright. Uh, depletes after use. So, these, these are the eternal ones. Okay. So if we equip those, and then we can actually just get rid of the other ice bolts, or put them in my storage for now so I don't get too confused. And that way, that will basically be infinite. If I go back to my, uh, like a staff here that can shoot them. Uh, and then those will be eternal ice bolts. So, infinite lots of damage at quite a range. So that is really cool. Alright, I am very happy with that. That ancient spire was a ton of fun to climb up. And I can only imagine all the other awesome locations. We did get a chance to check out some beautiful spots over there that I'd love to, I don't know. I'm thinking that little section right over there on the map could be neat to build in. Uh, over at the foot of those mountains, maybe on the other side there. So that'd be awesome. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Learned something out of it. It was a lot of fun adventure packed into it today. So in the next one, we will probably be rescuing the farmer. Or finding the farmer for that. With that said, huge shout out again to all of my channel members. Be sure to join the Discord server through the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.